Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Richard and in today's video we are going to be taking a look at the Sony XM4s. So these are the best noise cancellation headphones in the market. So in this video we are going to be unboxing the Sony XM4s and see if they are worth the price tag of $350. Let's get started. Alright, so they have 30, 30 hours of music playback time with uh, noise cancellation on and with 30 and 38 hours with noise cancellation off. Easy setup, download the app on the headphones and connect. Oh wow, this is really nice. That's the case. What else do we get in here? Music free trial, coupon code for that, warranty card, and the user manual. Right, so let's put everything aside. Don't need this. Right, so these are my first noise cancellation headphones that I've ever bought. Um, so I will probably need the guide. They also have Alexa built in, but I'm going to be using Google Home because I prefer that. I tried Alexa, but I didn't like it. So, all right. Okay, so for now, let's keep everything aside. And now I'm just going to open this baby up. The case is really nice as well. It's really well built. Alright, so this is the headphone jack cable if you want to plug into your system. I don't know how you would use this. I honestly don't. All right. The USB-C charging cable. I honestly don't get it. Why do they? Why do all the companies give you this cable that's really small? So this is like a really small cable. I cannot even plug it to a wall outlet. My headphones would be hanging down. All right now for the headphones itself. Wow. All right there you go. Wow. These look really nice. These are not that heavy that I was expecting these to be. These are not heavy at all. These are really lightweight. I have another Sony headphones, another pair of Sony headphones. And they were approximately the same, but those are wired. So these look good. Do we have anything else in the box? Nope. Let's move this aside. I don't know if these are charged up or not. These do look good. So I'm just going to put them on and see how they fit me. Um, the cushion feels great. Even the headband on the top. Alright, so let me just put this on and see. Do we have a left, right symbol? Yep, this is right, this is left. There we go. Alright. Now, let me just tighten them up. Oh. They do feel really nice, you know, when you have them on. I have not turned them on yet, but they do feel very really comfortable on my ears because I have another pair of Sony headphones, but they don't go all the way over your ear. They stay on it. So after like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, they start painting. But I think this is since I have really huge ears, these cover my ears properly. And so I think this would be quite comfortable. And I mean, Sony is known for the music, for the sound quality, right? So I don't think I'm gonna have any problems with the music as well. All right, so let me show you my another Sony pairs. So these are the wide ones that I use for my calls and everything. They do not have a built-in microphone. So if I would put these on, you would see that they stay on my ear. They don't cover it completely. There we go. So these stay on my ear and but if I'm wearing these for more than 10-15 minutes, my ears start to pain and I have a pain in my ears. So I have to probably take them off or have to be like this. I have one ear working at a time. Then when this one starts painting, I will have to switch it and be like this. So, I mean, it's not a huge problem, but these don't even have a microphone. And I've had, I have had these for uh, now five or six years. 
Uh, these were a gift from my brother-in-law. So I've had them for five years at, at least. So I think these are gonna be, uh, all right, so. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pair it to my phone and see if the sound quality is actually that great. I do have uh, the Sony headphones and I've tried a couple of, a bunch of other ones from Sony and Bose. So I should be able to tell if there's a huge difference between the uh, sound quality of these headphones. All right, these headphones are great. Um, are they worth the price tag of $350? I think so, because these are one of the most advanced and high-tech headphones that I've ever used in my life. Um, I would not have spent $350 on these headphones um, just because they are so good. But these are definitely worth the price tag, but I did got them for $250, so I'm still gonna stand by my opinion that I would not have paid $350 for these headphones. And I honestly don't think that everyone needs these type uh, these pair of headphones. These headphones are specifically for someone who is an audiophile and just wants their music to be perfect when they're listening to it. I'm not one of those people, but since it was a great discount, I got them. All right, so this is it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys later. Peace.